Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about quadrilateral. Now, as we already know about the polygons, so quadrilateral are basically the four-sided closed figure. So any figure which is having four vertices is known as quadrilateral. Here the property goes like all the external angles, like this angle, uh, this angle, plus this angle, plus this angle plus this angle. So all the external angles sum of all external angles is always 360 degree. Whether we talk about a triangle, a quadrilateral or any of the polygon, sum of exterior angle will remain 360 degree plus the sum of interior angles is always n minus 2 into 180 degrees. Here the number of sides are 4, so it is 4 minus 2 into 180 degree or which is equal to 360 degrees. So sum of exterior angle is also 360 in case of quadrilateral and sum of interior angles is also 360 in the case of quadrilateral. Now quadrilateral can be classified uh, as many figures but the basic difference is when we classify the quadrilateral on the basis of the sides. Now, as we know that there are four sides, the first thing can be that all four sides are non-parallel. There are no two sides or any two sides which are parallel to each other. The second classification can be that one pair of opposite sides is parallel in nature and the third classification can be that both the pairs of opposite sides opposite sides are parallel now this is the basic classification of quadrilateral when we say that all the four sides are non-parallel that actually means that a quadrilateral AB and CD are not parallel to each other while BC and AD are also not parallel to each other. The only thing here is that the sum of all internal angles is 360 as well as the sum of all external angles is also 360. So this is basically the basic quadrilateral. In the format of basic quadrilateral, there is one more quadrilateral which is possible. On and above which we can draw a circle which is joining all the four vertex of the quadrilateral. And this kind of quadrilateral is known as cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic quadrilateral. And here the most important property is that the sum of opposite angles, here angle A plus angle C or angle B plus angle B. The sum of opposite angles is always equal to the another pair of opposite angles. So angle A plus angle C is equal to angle B plus angle D which in turn will be equal to 180 degree as we know that sum of all the four angles is 360. So the definitely the pairs which are equal in uh, measurement are having 180 degree as the angle, uh, the sum of angles. Now the second thing can be where one pair of opposite sides is parallel to each other. Where there is a line AB and there is a line CD. So AB is parallel to CD but they are not equal in length. So there can be another line AD and there can be a line BC which are non-parallel. This figure is known as trapezium. Here only one pair of opposite sides is parallel and the other pair is non-parallel or which is not parallel to this. Here, there we can find a property that the sum of adjacent angle on the parallel sides like angle B plus angle C, the sum must be 180 degree. Because if in case we go for a line above C which is going towards E, then this angle is equal to this angle and this is angle B. So definitely the sum is a straight line which is equal to 180 degree and 
angle A plus angle D is also 180 degree as we know that sum of all the four angles must be 360. Besides this, we can talk about another kind of trapezium where there is one side is definitely parallel to the another side and the length of AD, the length of AD and the length of BC are both equal. So this trapezium is known as isosceles trapezium where the non-parallel side length is uh, unequal while, well, while the parallel side length is unequal while the non-parallel side length is equal in nature. So this is known as isosceles trapezium. Here another property will come into existence that the angle at this place and angle at this place is also equal in nature. Here the sum of these two are equal but here angle A is equal to angle B and angle C is equal to angle B. While the sum of BC and the sum of AD will remain 180 and 180 as in the first case. If we look at the another figure, third kind of uh, classification of quadrilateral, it is when both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel. We know that this line is parallel to this. This is a line AB. There is another line CD. Again, a line DA and a line BC are also parallel to each other. This figure is actually known as parallelogram. Besides this parallelogram, there are three more figures which are possible. Here, it is clear that the length of AB and length of CD are both equal as well as the length of AD and BC are equal and they are parallel to each other. But this measurement and this measurement, angle D and angle B are also equal while angle A is equal to angle C. If in case we talk about parallelogram, suppose here angle D and angle C are different, suppose to this we make the angle which are equal to each other or the angle C will decrease and angle D will increase and suppose both the angles comes out to be 90 degree then the figure will turn out to be something like this where AB, CD are parallel, BC and AD are parallel to each other but the angles will also become 90 degree and this figure is known as rectangle. While on the right suppose we squeeze this AD side towards BC and we make the length AD and AB as equal. The side AD is squeezed towards BC where the length of AD and the length of AB becomes equal. As it is AD and BC are equal and AB and BC are equal that means all the four sides become equal but the angles are not 90 degree. This figure is known as rhombus. Why? If we just increase, decrease the angle C and increase angle D and make a 90 degree then the figure will be something like this where all the angles are 90 degree as well as all the sides are equal. Or we can say if we squeeze this uh, figure and if we take AD towards BC and AD, the length of AD and AB becomes equal then also it will be converted into this figure and this figure is known as square. This is also known as the most regular figure in a quadrilateral and all these figures we will describe in the next video.